Yay Networks. I have quite possibly the biggest announcement, not just in my life, not just in our life, Uh huh. maybe not even in the history of mankind. Why do you always get to open the podcast, Shane? Why because you- I am the one trained in the ways of capturing uh-huh. the hearts and minds I can tell. Of our audience with big, fiery, explosive announcements. Wait till they hear what this announcement is about. Everyone listening, watching, get ready. This is actually cool. It actually is. Go ahead. I, Shane Wait, Rock- don't, No, don't ruin it. Give some background. Give some background. It, you might remember. This is why I do the intro. <laughs> no, you're not building up enough suspense. Can you build me up? Fine. You might remember that one year ago. Is this a fairy tale? (laughs) A long time ago. I'm building up suspense. You might remember that one year ago. Please vote in the comments about who you would like to do the intros from now on. That's so mean. I'm looking at you, viewers. Okay. We posted a video called Shane's Dangerous Weight Loss. It was after he had gone to the doctor and had been weighed, and we found out that he had lost like 15 pounds. The doctor was like, why are you getting smaller? Yeah. <laughs> why are you rapidly shrinking? And he was like borderline. The doctor was like, look, it's not an emergency. We don't want to freak you out, but it's it's close. You're as close to being an emergency <laughs> yeah. as you can be without being one. Yeah, you really need to focus on weight gain. We made a whole video about this. This was a year ago, right? A year ago, yeah. yeah. Um, and then a little bit, a- bit after that, you got sick with that, like a stomach bug. We yeah. got stuck in California during that. So you like lost a bit more weight. It was just getting really dire. And so we've been working on gaining a little bit of weight over the past year. I've been working on Yeah, well, we, we team we effort. <laughs> Hannah's the one being like, hey, can yeah. I interest you in some <laughs> ice cream? And it's always a no. Shane has not had one bite of ice cream this entire year. Now, I will be honest with you. I do not feel like I'm getting weight. And yeah. Hannah, every once in a while, will be like, hey, I'm going to like – Check in on your weight. Because I visually am like, Shane, I think you've gained a little bit. I really feel like we should be monitoring this. Shane has not weighed himself since that doctor's appointment a year ago. Can you tell I have some medical (laughs) trauma in my history? (laughs) (laughs) But last night, after a couple weeks in a row of like, you know, every week or so, I would say, hey, you want to weigh yourself? I was like, no, never. (laughs) I said, hey, do you want to weigh yourself? And Shane said, sure. Sure. Can you believe it? I was that's, shocked. That's not the announcement. The announcement <laughs> is not that I weighed myself. No, the announcement is the result of that. I am, can I go back to my big announcement? Yes, now it's your turn. Now this is the time. Everyone watching. Near or, and or, far, lis- or listening. Or listening. Yeah. This is a podcast. Yep. Near and far, happy and sad. Okay. I, Shane Robert Broha of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Oh, boy. 30 years old. Oh my God. Have gained seven freaking pounds. Hey. (laughs) That is cause for celebration. It is. That is amazing. I texted my entire family. Yep. I ran out and told your parents. Yep. They celebrated. Yeah. This is a big win. Big win. It is not easy for me to put on or keep weight on without a feeding tube. Yep. And this was au natural. It, well, it was mostly beer. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but I've been making a, you know, an effort to eat fattier foods and yep. eat more consistently, yep. not skip meals. We are not good at skipping meals. No. <laughs> yeah, we often will be like, it is 3 p.m. and we ate breakfast and then nothing else. And uh-huh. now it's almost dinner and now it's an awkward amount of time. So I feel like the number of days in the last year when... I have realized at 1 p.m. that all I've had so far is coffee. Yeah. I've been too many. But yeah. apparently not. No. Apparently, we've been better. We've been better. Than, I mean, I don't want to even think about what the year before that <laughs> must have been like. It was bad. <laughs> we were just like not yeah. – you honestly would go until like 2 p.m. without eating because we were like, nah, I'm fine. But we were prioritizing business yeah. over uh, staying alive. Yeah, you were like, I don't want to take a break. Turns out. Staying that's alive. not a good way to live. It's pretty important. <laughs> and you've been snacking at night. I think that's the winner. 
Do you want to tell them about my pretzels? Yes, Shane has a new love that has replaced my spot in his heart. Oh, bad fact. It is thin pretzel sticks. Yeah. I get what you call them, miniature pretzel sticks. Thin Hershey's. <laughs> and they honestly are so good. Every night we marvel at how good pretzel sticks are. <laughs> you know, they're really good. And they cuddle better than you, so. Cuddle better? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's okay. another reason that they've replaced you. Yeah. Anyway. I'm a bit heavier now. Wow. Going into the new year. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to keep putting that weight on, and we'll yep. let you know how it goes. Yeah. Let's see. When you are listening or watching this, Hannah and I are on our way to L.A. Yep. That's another big announcement. Yes, we are. We are going. Not for one month. <laughs> Not for two. I'm Not starting two. in month increments. Not for two months. <laughs> But for three months. I could not be more excited. The day that we're recording <laughs> I was going to say. It is, this is not a joke. I know that I like to exaggerate. Yeah. It is negative 14 outside. Yeah, it's like an advisory because it's dangerous. It's like you yell out, you may very well die. Yeah, so we're staying inside. <laughs> we cannot wait to go somewhere where it's not. we not here all winter. Where it's yeah. not dangerous outside. We're so excited. We've done this a few times. Yep. Wait, have we done the LA? We did well, we it. went to Florida. Right. This is like our fourth winter leaving from, I mean, the first two were like three weeks, but still, it's our fourth winter where we've tried to escape. This mm-hmm. is our longest time that we're leaving yet because this is three months. Last year, we went for six weeks to LA. Yeah, so that was wonderful. That was amazing, but we came back at the beginning of March. It was like <laughs> March 4th or something. <laughs> And we were like, why in the world did we just come back? It's still freaking snowing. It snowed for the next eight weeks. It literally stopped snowing in May. It snows in May here, which <laughs> is, it's a hellhole. Yeah. So we're going a little bit longer this time, and we're excited about that. Yes, and the process of getting to L.A. is always a bit of an adventure. Especially when you're packing for that long. This isn't like, oh, you know, load the car really quick. We're road tripping there, by the way. We're not yeah. flying. No, we're not. We have our dog. <laughs> And she has a lot of things. She's more than either of us. <laughs> so to help us get to LA, we have my mom driving out with us in a separate car. We've enlisted the Liz. Last year we did the drive out alone. That was only for six weeks again, and we it was horrible. I we have some videos of that, but like I loaded and unloaded. It must have been twenty little bags and boxes and like things from the car every time Shane had to get out. And we. I mean, we stopped along the way four nights, I think. Yeah, it was actually, it was five because there was a snowstorm. Um, and just that process of loading and unloading the car, it's a lot for Hannah to be doing. And Chloe's barking because she's upset day, about it. Whenever we arrive at a destination, <laughs> Chloe has this hurt yep. where she she's, loves being in the car. She's incredible. She sleeps the whole time. Yeah. But when we get there... She begins to howl. She's anxious. Like death howl. She though. thinks she's going to be left. She's like, yeah. this is where I, I've been brought to be dropped off, and I will not let it happen. And so she, there's nothing you can do to make her stop crying. And it's like you're splitting. Yeah. <laughs> so with that going on, while we're already <laughs> tired from driving for eight hours, yeah. and we're hungry, because we yeah. don't eat very well when we're on the road. No. And we have to unload. She also doesn't like drive throughs right. so, so that's limiting. But this time we are having my mom drive there with us. She drove back with us last year. Like after we drove out, we were like, we can't do this ever again. Please, mom, fly out and drive home with us. And she did, and it was so much better. She brings her own car. Did you say that? Yeah, she's renting a car and driving out separately because we honestly wouldn't fit in our car for three months. We wouldn't fit and just the the mayhem of it all. Yeah. It's a lot easier with Liz. And as an added bonus, we get along with Liz really well and And it's like fun to travel together. Yeah, and she's staying for about 10 days after we get there just to enjoy the the warmth. So, But we're really looking forward to L.A. Yep. I ate the best cheesesteak of my life in you, L.A. You last are from year. the Philadelphia area. I know, and that is saying something. Shane. I know. <laughs> Philadelphia, I love you, and your cheesesteaks are amazing, but I had the best one ever in L.A., and that's really the main reason I'm going back for that the food, steak. The food is a big draw. Like that is – Shane and I mentioned the L.A. food that we had uh-huh. last year at least once – 
a week. A week. Um, yeah, for, for the sure. past year, we've been like, remember when we had that sushi? I remember the Thai? Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, that is what we are doing. As you watch and listen, Get we ready. are somewhere in probably n- New Mexico. Oh, I hope so. That's no we're getting close. Um, but we have a fun episode for you today. Since it is the new year, yeah. we are going to be talking about our resolutions. Oh, boy. And to make it a bit more mayhemy, we're going to be analyzing the probability <laughs> that we will actually accomplish our resolutions. Oh, boy. So I think we should take a quick break. Yeah, we'll be right back. All right, we are back, and it is time to talk about our resolutions for the year. We don't really do actual resolutions, Shane. No, like, we've never really been we, resolution people. We really did them for the podcast. Yeah, but they're Maybe good. Maybe that will lead to growth yeah, in gross. our lives. We're going to try to have some better habits this year. I hate nothing more than when people are like, so what are your five-year goals? <laughs> I don't make goals. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like resolutions are very They're similar. tied in with all that. We don't make goals. No, Neither I of just, us do. I just go with the flow. Yeah. Maybe we should have some goals. Let's think of these as our These are our goals. Our goals for the year. Do you want to go first? Your goal number one? I will. I'm going to be serious. Okay. I am going to drink less alcohol. Nice. Yeah. Are you going to be more specific than that or is it just sort of a wishy-washy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we've, I've said this before. Um, my relationship with alcohol has always been iffy, we'll call it that. Mm. Um, but now that we are going through like the IVF process, one of the big ways that you can harm mm. <laughs> your sperm health it's on all the lists, is with yeah. alcohol. <laughs> and so I am trying to make some lifestyle changes that might improve my sperm health. Low body weight is one too. So yeah, now you're gaining now weight. I'm doing it on... Checking every box. You really are. Um, but my goal, my resolution, is to only have a beer or two mm. on the weekend. Mm. No longer will I end my day with a beer because <laughs> um, I don't need it. Yeah. And I think that will make me feel better. Hopefully it will make my sperm feel better. Oh, geez. Uh, um, <laughs> And yeah, what do you think my probability of... Well, people are like, why do you have to say the word sperm in every single podcast episode? What is the probability (laughs) that Shane will talk about his sperm (laughs) in any given conversation? 100%. Probability of you doing this resolution? Yeah, be honest. Well, like, in what capacity are we saying, like, for the... Until next December? Uh Uh-huh. Or like... The whole year. The whole year? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't count if I do it for a month. Mm. (laughs) Be honest, I need to hear it and defend myself. 20%. I I'm going to give you, I, I honestly think so, because I think once we do the IVF, you're going to be like, well, I did it. <laughs> I yeah. deserve a reward. If IVF works, I'll yeah. be like, all right, sperm, you know all your matter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but who knows? If IVF stretches out, maybe it's a higher percentage. I am. I resolve. To make you proud. People are going to be like, this is so mean of her and unsupportive, but that's not what I mean. No, I I, I appreciate your yeah. genuine. And if I fail, it's not like I'm really surprising you. <laughs> it's like you okay. 80% expected well. it. <laughs> Maybe, okay, uh, 40% chance. Oh. I just think a year is a very long time. Like, I, yes. I think my percentage, just to spoil it, of doing any of my resolutions, zero. <laughs> because who does something for an entire year? I don't know if, like, okay, but, like, one slip up. Yeah. Does that constitute Well, that's what I'm saying. Failure? I don't know. We, we are making the rules, so. No. No? No, I think it would just be, like, if next December are you still consistently thinking about this yeah. and trying to attain it. That would be a failure. No. You're saying. No, that's oh, not. That oh, would I, be like the marker of like you're still doing it. And you're like mostly successful. As we worked out the logistics <laughs> of our <laughs> rating resolution system. rating system, <laughs> please take a moment to talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> no, I just, I think, you know, that's a long time to think about a goal. So 20 to 40%. Yeah, maybe 40 if, we're, if that's the, if it's not like zero slip ups. You don't really think I have a strong constitution do you? i don't think this is the first year you've attempted this resolution and that's why i'm like well it's okay if <laughs> it if honest. it's just for a bit we're being practical yeah practical all right let's hear your yeah first resolution. well here you go my first resolution 
is to exercise a bit more. Oh. I was a competitive swimmer from age five to 23. Which meant swimming like multiple times a day. Yes. Like every that day. was, like, yeah, two and a half hour practices every night with like three days a week. We also had hour and a half morning practices and lifting and it was like very, very intense. And so when I graduated from college, I 100% stopped exercising. I was like, I will never exercise again. Like barely went on walks. Yeah. Like it has been beaten out of me. Yeah. I just don't like it. Uh, and so honestly, like that was what, five years? four years ago now that I yeah. graduated. Um, and it's finally, I'm starting to be like, huh, maybe I'm kind of interested in exploring exercise again. Well, every once in a while, you know, like lift me. Yeah. And then like walk three feet and be like, oh my God, I am out of shape. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, the thing that most disturbed me was when I swam this summer, like recreationally, I didn't have like a cap and goggles on. I was like, floating in the pool my forearms were getting tired treading water and i was like my i used to have really strong hands and arms and now they like i can barely open a can i'm becoming almost stronger than you and that was upsetting to me i was like okay i liked being able to like open things and like mostly about the hands (laughs) it was focused on the hands that was what i noticed because i've always gotten out of breath going upstairs like swimming I, I was very like cardio, whatever in shape, but it didn't translate to like on land ever for me. So it didn't really matter. Uh, well, that I know it was just weird. Like I've always gotten out of breath going upstairs, but I could swim for miles, but the hands, like the muscle strength is just, and I'm sure it's all my muscles. Welcome but. to my world. <laughs> so I, I don't know how I'm going to exercise my forearms and hands specifically, but, uh, you know, overall exercise. I'm like, Oh, maybe that sounds interesting. See, now this one for me to give you, a probability. Well, I would need to give you like how often I'm going to exercise right. and I can't do that. That's so extremely. This is inherently yeah, easier than mine. It is. But I just, I cannot mandate a number because then I f- literally feel anxious about it. If it, it. You do have that thing where if it feels like, like a. Like have to. Yeah, like something that you. Have to do. If it's being dictated to yeah. you. Yeah, even by myself. Then you <laughs> rebel against it. Yeah. yeah. Even if your own brain is like, hey, no. Yeah, Work out three times this I, week. I can't have any rules like that. So well, it's just, I'm, you know, my resolution is to be more open to exercise. <laughs> it's more of a mental resolution. Yeah, 100% is. I'm going to give you a 70% that you will be more open to exercising <laughs> in the new year. Thank you. And honestly, I, like, you have even before we made this resolution. Yeah, you've been working out more. Yeah, recently this month I've done it like three times, and you've been enjoying it. Yeah. So, I would guess that that will continue. Yeah. I would give you a seventy. Yeah. That you will achieve this workout goal. Thank you. You're that welcome. feels good. I should have given you a higher score. I think if you had said twenty, it would have been. I'm gonna have a talk with you about that <laughs> afterwards. Um, <laughs> What's your next resolution? I would like us. This mm. is an us thing. Uh, uh, well, so did I'm, I... I'm wrangling you into my... Yeah, I didn't... I'm wrangling you. What's the word? Wrangling? <laughs> wrangling? Wrangling? Wrangling. Ring, ring. I think it's wrangling. It's not wrangling. I'm wrangling you in. Um, I would like you and me to be more proactive mm-hmm. with the content that we create for our various platforms. Mm. All too often... Yes. Do we realize in the panic that we haven't put a video up in a bit or yeah. that we have a podcast that we're recording in an hour mm-hmm. or whatever it is. Yeah. I would love to see us like be more mindful of making things ahead of time. Yeah. So that we don't have those moments of And it's yeah, and that's more fun anyway, because then you get to make something that you're excited about and not like, oh my God, we have one hour uh-huh. to make something, you know? <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I would give us a Oof. 1% because we've been saying this <laughs> for five years, however yeah. long, four years. I was going to say this is not the first time we've said this. Nope, we've tried, and we are not very uh, forward thinking in yeah. that way. So, But maybe this will be our year. Maybe. Yep. <laughs> All right. My next one is to do more adventures with Chloe. Oh, that sentence ended differently than I thought. Oh. I thought it might have been with my husband. <laughs> oh. No, my sweet, sweet dog. She loves like going in the woods and hiking and stuff. And I just don't usually find the time 
in any given day to like take her somewhere that she would really like yeah. to go. So am I allowed to attend these adventures? Yes, if but you're not an outdoor person, and her activities want. Although I do want to do like that barn hunt thing where she looks for scents in oh, a barn, yeah. so you can be involved in that. Thank you for allowing me to be <laughs> partially involved in the life of our dog. Yes, um, I will. I will. One up you there, oh. not one up you. I will add on, okay, and say that I want to be more mindful of going on walks with you too. Because mm. normally you and Chloe, yeah, and your mom do walks at night, yeah. In the winter, yeah, it's tough for yeah. me, but in the summer, I'm often like, eh, I'll hang out here and read, or I'll drink well, a beer. I was gonna say, <laughs> you normally have a beer, so perhaps our resolutions will. <laughs> Intertwine beautifully. Yeah. But I lo- when I do go on the walks, I find them very peaceful yeah. and fun, and we're always laughing. Yep. Um, so I would like to attend wow. more of the dog walks. Aw. Yeah. Our dog resolution. Probability. I feel good about it. Yeah. 90%. Wow. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. 90. Every other day, I'm going to be like, Hannah, yeah. you feeling up for a hike? <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least when we're in LA, it'll be good weather and there's lots of hiking places to take Chloe. That is true. I'm excited. So for at least three months, yep. you'll, uh, you'll have it easier. After that, we'll see. All right. My next resolution is for you. Are you kidding? I resolve and I hope with all of my heart that Hannah remembers to wipe consistently. What is wrong with you? Truly. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Chances? <laughs> Shame. They're pretty low. Oh, my God. But we have mercy on it. She's been getting better. This is inappropriate. And it's slander. <laughs> All right, then. I have one for you. Oh. Shane. Is this a, a rebuttal? It's a rebuttal, although mine is, like, nice. I think that you should – well, I resolve that you will take at least one day per week off from work. Zero work. That's a self-serving resolution mm-hmm. because you want me to be like, let's go to the pumpkin patch. Imagine today. a husband who wants to do an activity on the weekend. <laughs> How incredible that would be. Yes. But why? When you could be <laughs> sending emails <laughs> and coming up with plans and uh-huh. making video ideas. Yeah. Nope. One day per week. I can do that. I'm not even giving you two. Does that count? But sometimes when we do a recreational activity, mm-hmm. we film it for a video. Does That's that fine. count? I don't count that as work. Okay. It's not the main part of our job. Yeah, and <laughs> I that's the nice part of our job is that does not feel like work to me because that is genuinely just us doing an activity. As long as I can imagine that it is work. Oh, my God. Then I will. That's how we're going to – all right, we'll get more content creation because we'll do more activities, and uh-huh. those activities will be seen by you as work. Yes. And by me as fun. It's all coming and together. It's all gonna come together. Um, this is gonna be this our year. year. <laughs> this year is gonna just be amazing. I think one for me would be, and I kind of hinted at this before, but eat more. Oh. I'm gonna eat every meal. Yeah. All three meals a day. Wow. Snacks in between. Okay. Smoothies. Oh. How about a bite of ice cream here or there? Mm, okay. Don't push it. <laughs> That's a very good resolution, Shane. I think we are killing it Thank you. so far. I have one more that is for both of us, a oh joint resolution. Oh boy. To enjoy our possible last year as just the two of us oh. before possible children. Before babies. Before a baby. Before a baby baby. Uh-huh. Just to enjoy the year. Yeah. Or to as we enjoy every year, to sure. maximize. To mindfully enjoy the year, just us. I would like to add a caveat that we will be maximizing <laughs> our enjoyment, unheard of levels oh. of enjoyment. Okay. In our final year of freedom. Oh, <laughs> no, we shouldn't call it that. Not a good way to frame it, probably. <laughs> Terrible way to frame it. But yeah, just enjoy just being, you know, the two of us for now. We need to really be grateful. Soak it in. But we are. Settle in to watch a movie at 8 p.m. Yeah. Just being aware that, you know, when a baby is screaming in the (laughs) other room, that might not always be possible. Exactly. But right now, we can do anything that we want. Yep. For one more year. (laughs) (laughs) 
All right. Well, should we move on? Take a break. Let's take a trip break. And then we have a Q&A oh, from our listeners. An audience Q&A. Yes, I'm excited. First one here at Jump Yard Mayhem. We got some really mayhem questions. Yes, we will be right back. All right, we are back for our Q&A, our first one. Our Junkyard Mayhem Q&A. Uh-huh. We will not be answering any old run-of-the-mill oh. basic question. Only Junkyard we questions. We will only be answering the most mayhem <laughs> the most junky. Do you have a name for this segment, Shane? Like Junkyard Mayhem Q&A? Do you have a fun name? Mm, Masters of Mayhem. That doesn't really tell the listener. But it has alliteration. What we're doing. Mm. How about like... Quest like answering. Wow. Hmm. No. <laughs> Masters of Mayhem. All is. right. Masters of Mayhem. Question one. This is from Seth. If you had time in a junkyard to modify Shane's wheelchair. It's very junkyard mayhem. Uh huh. And all of the tools and knowledge you need, what would you add to create the most mayhem possible? This is so easy. Oh. Do you remember the show Battle Bots? No. Okay, well, that was a letdown. <laughs> I'm so sorry. If you're listening, you're Do watching. you think that I would remember the show BattleBots, it Shane? Is one of the best shows that ever aired. You know I watched Zaboomafu. I watched Arthur and Dragon Tales. I did not. What network was BattleBots on? I think it was on like, like TV. Okay, I watched PBS. So no, I don't remember that <laughs> television program. BattleBots was a show where mechanically inclined people would build robots Mm-hmm. That would fight each other yep. to the death. No, thanks. I would make myself into a human wheelchair <laughs> battle bot with all kinds of weapons, flamethrowers, armor. I'd be unstoppable. I wouldn't hurt anyone with it. I would fight other battle bot wheelchair users. Fun. I would make you into a, a kitchen gadget. Like, what? you'd have every kitchen gadget you need. Yeah, then you could use your spatula. You like cooking. I do like cooking, but... <laughs> but the you would get a between... lot more use out of cooking than battle bot okay. fights. Well, if I ever need to protect you, you're going to not be too happy when I whip out my soft spatula. There's knives in a kitchen. That's true. Mm-hmm. My battle bot would have a knife thrower. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> this question is from Hannah. Not me, though. Not you. Not me. There are others. <laughs> I guess so. Hannah well, <laughs> doesn't acknowledge it, but there, but there are. I don't like to think about that. <laughs> what was your biggest obstacle to get over when you first got together? Ooh. I feel like saying our distance is cliche, though. You know, that's what comes to mind immediately. Because it is a cliche. Cliche is not a adjective. It's a noun. Oh, my God. I studied English in college. <laughs> You're so annoying. So what were you saying? What was your SAT score again? Oof. Ooh. Anyway, uh, I think that saying, I was trying to think of something other than our long distance right, because obviously that was, very hard. that was a huge obstacle and really hard. I have one related to that. What is it? That I think for me and maybe for you was the hardest thing. While we were long distance, mm-hmm. because we were long distance for two years. Yeah. Not being attached at the hip, yeah, was hard. Yeah, like whenever you that's had the same as long distance. Well, literally... I know, but like the <laughs> the comfort, yeah, of being able to be like, I'm doing this thing tonight. You're doing that thing. Like we're not gonna be FaceTiming for oh no five hours. Yeah, and not spiraling into a, you know nervous, like, sad wreck. Basically, Hannah and I wanted to be FaceTiming every hour of every day. Yeah. So whenever we had separate activities, Mm -hmm. it felt really, really uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. And we didn't get over that until we moved in together. Yeah. And we were finally like, okay, there's no real end to our togetherness. Mm -hmm. So it's okay now if we, like, do our own thing here Yeah. Back then, though, when we were long distance, we were not happy with everybody. No, it was horrible. <laughs> had to do something in part. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so obviously, yeah, I think the distance was the biggest thing. But I, I'm trying to think of something other than that. Something that was kind of, I mean, this is like, what was your biggest obstacle to get over? My biggest obstacle, I think, 
um, was, and it wasn't really an obstacle, but my biggest thing that I had to get over, and now I am over it, which is nice, is that when we would go in public, people would stare at Shane. Oh, yeah. And I could, I even now it like still annoys me, but I just don't make eye contact with anyone in public anymore. Like I just don't look at them because I know they're looking at you. Well, they're looking at me because... I've gained seven pounds. Yeah, you just you filled noticed. out so beautifully. They just can't look away. Um, no, but when we first started dating, I was so uncomfortable in public because everyone would just stare. And I was like, can you seriously stop yeah. staring, please? Did it make you uncomfortable or were you like angry? I feel like you were more angry. Like, I was, yeah. Well, I was, it was just like, ugh. Yeah, it's just it made me feeling. upset. I don't Whereas know. Whereas I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Because I've been experiencing it my whole life. Yeah. You know, death I wanted to be like, how, like, can you stop to every single person? Like, I literally wanted to be like, hey, stop. <laughs> you know, but obviously you can't. So I would just be like, ugh. And do you think that getting over it was just a matter of experience? Exposure. Oh, more? yeah. I mean, now it's just like, how, like, how many times can you be upset about something before you're like, okay. <laughs> it's still, honestly, like, I think kids sometimes when they say things, that still bothers me. Yeah. Even though it's kids. And I know, like, a lot of people are like, oh, kids don't bother me. Kids bother me. <laughs> I'm like, can you please stop? I know it's not like their fault. Yeah. But it can be pretty annoying. Uh-huh. My favorite is when we were at the lake <laughs> and we walked by this nice family and the little, little kid yeah. pointed at me and started shouting, Mom, it's a baby, it's a baby, <laughs> pointing at me. It's yeah. a baby, it's a baby. <laughs> and that child's parents were mortified. That didn't even bother me because I was like, well, you know, good guess, but not not quite. But I was like, that's kind of cute. But the parents were like, oh, my God. <laughs> All right, the next question is from Aline. Uh, you're both amazing. Where do you keep the gold Hannah's digging? LOL. Hey, <laughs> Aline, cool. I remember this question. Aline left a, a longer comment oh. explaining that she was a big fan. Yeah. And this is just a joke. Yeah. Um, I can we, tell because of the LOL. We are not keeping Hannah's assets in physical gold. Mm -hmm. um, I make a once monthly deposit into her account. Uh, well, I shouldn't say I, my parents. <laughs> make a once monthly deposit into her account. Um, and then they usually send over a note to Hannah that just says, remember, we are paying you to be with him. Yes, thanking me. Thank you. Don't let us down. <laughs> Do not bring him back here. <laughs> I'm surprised that you didn't go with something other than money, though, like that I take my my deposit in something else. Oh, like, you know, you know candy? Yeah. I mean, that's... Too close to home, I, you know. <laughs> That's sensitive. I don't want to embarrass you. <laughs> All right, next question. Since we are going on a five-hour flight tomorrow, and since my 14-year-old son also has SMA type 2, and since I am panicking about the four bad bathroom choices for him during the flight, I need the real and dirty on how you manage peeing or not peeing during a flight. Yeah. Airplane bathrooms are not... No. accessible yeah so like I could, shane physically cannot I use that physically could not get in there yeah um even with handle lifting me we wouldn't fit no and there's never delayed me to like get my pants off yeah so i'm going to be completely honest with you most flights i just don't use the bathroom yeah i deprive myself of liquid for the day and a half before the flight mm -hmm. super unhealthy yeah shouldn't have to be that way that goes without saying but it's the only way I can safely know that I won't have to really go on a you know six hour flight. Yeah, and some airports that we've been in have changing tables, like you know rest restrooms that are private with a changing table that we've used right before the flight. Yep. And then after, so that helps. Um, but we have flown internationally <laughs> twice. I was gonna tell. This. Yeah, go ahead. And those you can't. You got to pee at some point. Yes. And so uh, the way we did it is, I, as you know, I use a child's car seat to sit on the airline chair because I can't stay in my wheelchair. Again, needs to change. <laughs> Finding the space to use the bathroom mm -hmm. in that car seat yeah. is a bit of a challenge. We bring along my plastic travel urinal, yep. a little red jar. And what we did was we laid a big blanket over me. Yeah. Right there out in the open. Yep. And uh, well, what did you do? You like I think I scooched you forward. I mean your head was probably flopping all over the place, but we got it in 
Because the problem is the car seat is very tipped. And I know if you're listening, you can't see that I'm motioning a tip. But, you know, you can't pee upstream. Uh, so I had to just get the angle so that it was downstream. And finally, we got it somehow. I honestly have no idea how. Well, we got it. But do you remember my performance anxiety? No. Something about being out in the middle of... <laughs> oh, the, something about it, huh? <laughs> something about peeing in public was difficult about for you? About being on an airplane, yeah. I couldn't go, really. <laughs> I, I spurted out like two spurts. Shane, but, TMI. But it wasn't the full experience. You know, I kind of... Did down. we do it twice? I think we only did it once. Wow. It was, like, painful. Yeah. Oh when you try God. to go through performance anxiety <laughs> and... You know, it doesn't feel good. Oh, poor you. Yeah. That was years. That was like four years ago now, maybe five. So I would advise that. Yeah, that. I, I mean that's the best way. Yeah. Um, just don't. Just don't worry about. You know, bring a blanket, or, or ask for one depending on what flight you're on. They don't usually yeah. have blankets unless it's international. But honestly, I would not be above wearing a diaper. Like, yeah, I. If it needs to happen, it needs to happen. Yeah. On the next international flight, we might explore that. I don't know. We have no plans to fly that long, luckily, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. Final question. In what style or theme would you decorate a nursery? Easy. Jet Air Mayhem. Oh, my God. How about you, Hannah? Shane. What theme will we be mixing in with my Jet Air Mayhem from you? I was going to say Beatrix Potter characters. Aww. I love Beatrix what Potter. What are those for people that don't know? What is Beatrix Potter? Beatrix Potter is an author, a British author okay. from a long time ago. Uh-huh. And she has characters such as Peter Rabbit, Jemima Puddle Duck. <laughs> to name a few. Hold on. I think it's like Tiggly Wing. <laughs> Tiggly, what, Tiggly? Hannah's, since I've known her, Tiggly Wink? has been very, very into or is it Tiggly Wiggly? Beatrix Potter. Oh, Tiggy Winkle, Miss Tiggy Winkle. <laughs> so you would like the room filled with? The two bad mice. Yeah, just like I, I'm thinking of decorations, and I think that a mural of Beatrix Potter characters would be really cute. I think that is very cute. Yeah. Interspersed with no. chainsaws, <laughs> machetes. I want your genuine crowbars. opinion. On what a you rusted would out car decorate a nursery with. The whole of the car. How big do you think this room is? Their bed. Come on. Be in the- Give me a real one. What, you want a real Nursery, style? yeah. What would you actually decorate, you think? I mean, the Beatrice Potter characters are pretty cute. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have a real answer. See, I'm not good at aesthetics. Shane. I don't know. What's something you like? You want cute. it to be woodland animals? You want it to be sea-themed? Oh, see, this is helping. My uh, brain never in a, I could have sat here all day <laughs> and my brain never would have come up with woodland creatures. You know, pastel. Um, How about books? Clouds, Is rainbows. Is that like library? Yes. Can I do library? No. It's what? A, because I know. <laughs> I gave you a real Shane, answer. Shane, that's what you want to decorate a room as, like our room, but... A nursery typically isn't like dark wood books and velvet, which I know is your aesthetic, but... Maybe we can instill okay. in our child yeah. some common yeah. decency and class <laughs> at a young age. It would be nice and dark and cozy for sleeping, I guess. Coffee shop. Okay. So Shane's going to go with like library... Pub. A pub. That's, Ir- yeah. Irish pub. And I'm going to go with... Irish pub library Beatrix bookstore. Potter. <laughs> I wonder who's going to (laughs) win. And over here, we have a rusty pitchfork. No. (laughs) Harkening back to the days of Jet Air Mayhem. All right. Thank you for listening. (laughs) Uh, I'm going to close this out before Shane continues. If you enjoyed our podcast, please review it or, you know, rate it or leave a comment. A bathtub filled with oil. Shane. Would you like to do your Pig pen. Pig sty. That's (laughs) nice. My style. Barnyard. That barnyard. Barnyard mayhem. Yeah, no. <laughs> Just barnyard. Barnyard mayhem. The animals have all escaped. <laughs> they are missing. And all that's left is their droppings. All right. All right. If it's a junkyard out there, everyone, go see what you can dig up. I'm going to just finish it now. Bye. It's a junkyard out there, everyone. Believe in yourself. Okay. See you next week. You had to one up me. <laughs>